Hi, hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to uh, Sonic Unleashed, uh, both versions playthrough. Um, yeah, we're starting immediately in the uh, Spagonia hub because the next things to do are the day stages for Spagonia and uh, Chunan. Um, so let's just not waste any time and just get right into this because these are two of uh, some of the best stages in the game. Uh, Rooftop Run is pre pretty unanimous unanimously considered the best stage in the game by a lot of people for both versions. Um, there we go. Uh, I'm not sure if I did I did entirely agree. I it's it's a very um, hard mix up for me, like with, between this and the uh, two man's day stages. Um, they are very neck and neck. They are definitely some of the best stages in the game. I don't know if I call them my favorite personally. Well, Chunan, I probably thought that. For the Wii version specifically, I probably say that Chunan might be my favorite base stage. But for the uh, HD version specifically, that becomes a little bit harder to do, to um, say. Like, I'm not sure what I call my favorite in that, in that version. But needless to say, though, that like, this is a great stage. But I, I love how energetic it is, like as you expect from these uh, like the day stages. And since this is like the midway point of the game now, well, not, I don't know if I say midway point, but it's definitely you definitely made it a, de a decent chunk into the game now. So the day stages get quite a bit more um, involved and more reaction heavy than they have been. But there's more stuff going on. Um, especially in the HD one, and they're just, like, from this point, they just become, like, such a massive throw ride, they just get addictive to, uh, try and master, as some levels are known to be, like, the some levels get a lot more fun once you learn them, um, and I feel like that's definitely the case with Unleashed, specifically, because with how the boost system works, it encourages you to like want to replay the levels over and over again so you can get like super fast and get through the stage in record time. Um, they, again, that's always been the case in Sonic games since the very beginning, but because of how the boost works and how like it encourages speedrunning basically, I feel like Unleashed um, nails that aspect of the series like probably the most out of any Sonic game. Um, like obviously, some people have issue with the fact that it is so much more speed based and there isn't as much platforming, especially on the Wii, which I kind of understand, um, but I feel like it's one of those things where this game has a different design mentality than like the other games, whereas, um, so like Adventure 1 or whatever, which was a lot more uh, designed around the platforming, the secret paths, and all that good stuff. Um, whereas Unleashed is, it has paths, like there's secrets to find, and it's a lot less linear than some people make it out to be sometimes, but it's also the general DNA of the game is more in line with like going, f like going really fast and just kind of getting through everything as fast as possible. Um, compared to, again, most other Sonic games, which did have that as well, but it was more, there was more platforming involved, um, like there, there were more, um, plat like, slow moments, if you will, whereas like with the boost games, that usually takes a back seat, and I say for the most part because colours exist, and um, that has a lot of platforming, but when it, for the most part, like, platforming takes a bit more of a backseat in these games, and um, I think it's fine, I think that works fine, because the the boost games, when you start having to do, like, hardcore platforming, I feel like that's when the, um, you kind of start to see the cracks in the playstyle, because it isn't always, I, I don't want to say always, it, it isn't really designed around hardcore platforming in mind, because like, the, when you're trying to walk around um, meticulously, it doesn't really feel the greatest. Um, and I 
Like, when you, when you see them do more hardcore platforming in, like, Generations, in, like, full 3D, it doesn't always feel too great, because it feels like you're walking, like, you're making a tank, like, get around, and it just doesn't feel good. But, yeah. And that was the end of that. But before we, um... Do our usual step and go to the HD one. Let's go back and um, play the extra stage that we just got. Because may as well do that now. There's two of them. Okay, we may as well just go for the guy guy. Make it quicker. Yeah, I didn't really have much time to talk about the rooftop run stage. Uh, itself, but yeah, this is yeah. It's uh, like I said before. It's one of the uh, most loved stages in in the game, um, and it's not hard to see why. Like again, there's so much there's so much uh, thrill going on. Um, there's a lot there's a lot of stuff to do, um, and it's just fun to react to everything. And, like this is where the the day stages I feel like start getting really good. Um, Here we yeah, but it's never a dull moment. Yeah, pretty much. And I'm always talking about LMR. No problem. Good stage. And now we go to this one, which shouldn't be too bad. It's basically just um do the last section of the regular level without getting hit by the robot dude. Um, so if we just be careful with where we are, it should be fine. Like, the sooner you kill this guy, the better. Because then at that point, you can't really... Damn it. You can't really die. Not my best one. But this, this guy can be a little bit tricky if you want, like, just... Easy, can't just bum rush. Here we go. So just take it easy. Use laser. It's good when he shoots out the missiles, where it starts to get kind of messy. And I've got an item too, and that's it. Now I can just boost it. I will say this much, I do think that platforming works better in the 2D sections than in 3D, just because, um, like I was mentioning earlier, like when you get to generations, um, and there's like all these big open environments, it doesn't always, like, it doesn't always feel too great to uh, walk around them, like, it kind of, I feel like the, the uh, boost um, mechanics feel too clunky for that kind of thing, um, but regardless, <laughs> That's actually it for Spagonia Day for the Wii, which didn't last very long at all, I know, <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna cut to the HD one and do the same thing there, so see you guys in a bit. Alright, and we're back. Um, so, as you may know, um, before, I try- actually, I think I- I don't think I actually went here with um, normal Sonic, but point is, like, we couldn't do this before because we needed to, um, get the stomp. And, well, obviously, some, uh, in this version, or just in general, really, um, you ha won't have, um, some stages unlocked until the professor will be like, oh, the guy gate is, like, um, or the temple, there's a temple in this area, you gotta do the levels there and whatnot. Um, so, sometimes when you see levels not lit up even though you have a, the right amount of um, medals, but that'll be why. But, yeah, just gotta explore this area. There's a lot of stuff in this place, uh, like, um, Spagania is probably... Ah, yeah, I don't have the... Um... Okay, you know what, I'll, I'll do the day stage first and then we'll explore a little bit. But... 
Yeah, for example, there's another stage up here, but we can't play that yet because we have to play the first stage first. No, I, th I think that's pr pretty clever though. Um, you have to play the, the regular Act 1, and then all the uh, extra stages just unlock themselves. As long as you have enough medals. Okay, you need to have um, at least level 3 sun medals, um, so there's um, you do need to be looking out for those things, um, but hey, I, I, like, like I said before, I don't mind that stuff too much because um, the night stages are designed in a way where you, feel you want to be exploring, um, so yeah, I'm fine with that personally. I, I understand why people don't like that for a Sonic game, um, and to a degree I'm inclined to agree with that, but... Yeah, boy. <laughs> um, I'm inclined to agree, agree to that to a degree, but... Um, I just don't mind it too much because I like exploring, and the Werehog stages are designed around that in the first place, so... Even if I miss a bunch of stuff in the base stages, I'm usually fine anyway. Um, so it doesn't really bother me that much, but I do understand why people hate it. Um, so I, yeah, I, I get it. As for the stage though, um, like I said on the Wii, um, this is where the day stages I feel start, get, start getting really good. And that's especially the case in the HD one. Like This is definitely one of the best stages in the game. Um, I Again, I don't know if I'd call it my favorite, but it's definitely up there. Uh, probably like top three at least, but yeah, this, this is just a massive thrill ride. I love going through this stage. Um, like you have to react to all this stuff. Um, it's very fun and reaction based, and I keep forgetting I didn't have the light speed dash. <laughs> um, and I feel like this and Tuna and stages are some of the. Um, I feel like this is the uh, boost gameplay at its strongest uh, because it's like, like I was saying before. When it comes to hardcore platforming, I feel like the boost the boost gameplay kind of falters slightly because again, it's not really built with that in mind. It's more built with a go 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 fast kind of mentality. Um, so when you stray stray far away from that and try to make it more adventure like in terms of its level design, a la generation sometimes, I feel like it kind of loses its. its um, Focus, well not focus, but like you kind of, again, like I said earlier on the Wii, it, you kind of start to see the cracks in the gameplay and see what it's not so strongly built for, if you will. Whereas I feel like unleash this the uh, boost, the only boost game I feel to really understand what makes the the boost work, because um, like it's it still has its own, like it still has a level design where you can find multiple multiple paths and finding the fastest one to get to the end quicker. It's still here and there's a lot there's still secret one-ups to find, there's still all that good stuff. Like there's still reasons to explore the level design. Um but it's built in an inherently different way than happenings. And I know I'm kind of repeating myself from earlier, but it's true. And I feel like this is the only boost game to really get that to a T. Um, and what I mean by that is that uh, Colors, while I still love that game, um, focuses a bit too much on the platforming. Um, and I think it works fine because it's mostly in 2D and I feel like Colors has the best overall controls of the boost games. Um, but it, it feels like it's a game that's begging to like, I don't know how to how to explain it, but like, colors and colors and generations feel like they're games that are begging to have more free feeling controls um, with the with how they approach level design a lot of the time, in my, in my opinion. Whereas Unleashed uh, knows that it's, it wants to be a fast a fast paced game that just makes you go speeding through levels and stuff, and it doesn't compromise in the slightest. Um, and it builds, it, again, it just builds the levels with that in mind. And I feel like 
with stuff like Rooftop Run and uh, Dragon Road Day, um, and all the other day stages beforehand, really, um, I feel like that that show, like shows basically what I mean. Because um, this is what I feel like this is where the boot when the boost sat strongest. Like this is what it was initially designed for, and um, yeah, I, I feel like Unleash just understood that the best. Um, even if I would like, I, I do enjoy the pla like platforming stuff. Like um, I, I do like how Colors and Generations tried doing more of that. But again, it's not what this playstyle was really built for, and I, I, I don't know. I really do love those games, but I feel, I feel like they were trying. I, f I feel like they tried stretching the playstyle too thin, is what I'm trying to say. Like, it came to a point where they may as well have just brought back Adventure Style or something, because, like, trying to explore in open spaces, is it just doesn't work. And, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I ended up rambling about that for so long, but... It, I don't know, I, I've had time to think about this stuff for a while, I guess. Honestly, that's probably why... Um, yeah, let's just go back. Um, that's probably why... Um, Carlos has so many 2D sections, because... Um, it work. The platforming works a lot better in 2D because there's only left and right you need to worry about. And thanks to colors having overall better controls, not perfect, but they're definitely. I definitely say they're the best feeling controls of the of the, um, the boost games. I may as well do Act Three first because it's up here and it's the Act Two is like way down in like the sewers or whatever. Okay, let's do this one first. Um. What was I saying? No, what was it? Uh, Colors being 2D. Um, I, feel, I feel like it, it's, the platforming works best in the boost games when it's just 2D because there's not as many variables to worry about and moving from left to right is a lot less arduous than like moving in a full open 3D space. Um, so that's when I feel like the boost having platforming works better. Um, and that's probably why I, well, one of the reasons why I like colors more than gems is because, um, again, like I, I recently replayed some levels in gems, and it, it kind of surprised me how I don't want to say wonky, but when you have to when you have to do like Crisis City, for example, that that level has a lot of 3D platforming in it, and it feels really stiff. And I was surprised at how weird it felt. Like, it's not bad, and I still really like that stage for trying to be more platform heavy. Um, but it does come back to what I was saying about how 3D movement just doesn't feel built for this gameplay style. And, um, like, I feel like that's the bigger one of the main reasons why. Um, Unleashed focuses less on platforming and more on just going fast, and why Colors has so many 2D sections, because that's when you can more so get away with it and have it like work okay. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Oh, so that's one of the um, Charo missions in the game, like. They, the Chao like still exist in this series, but they play like a much more like side side role, even more so than like SA2. Honestly, like in SA2 they had a Chao Garden, but they had no real role in the story, as far as I remember. Um, but yeah, since then like they don't really do much with the Chao. So yeah, with this game. Uh, they have um, 
some levels where you have to find ten char or something. Um, they're an interesting change of pace, I suppose. Like just finding like a MacGuffin, basically. But um, they generally aren't anything too different from what you're used to. Um, but yeah, either way. Let's see if there's anything around. Is it? I don't think we could have reached this earlier, actually. So, I'm just, I'm just gonna book. We have that medal. We are missing two medals, though. I think one is probably up there. Like that's up this building is where the is where the light speed dash trail goes. Um. But, yeah. Regardless. This is one of my favorite like stage hubs in this game because just because of how many layers it has. Um, insert Shrek joke here, I know. Um, and just the way it like makes you switch between day and night, Sonic, um, to get the most out of it and explore all the nook and crannies, uh, nooks and crannies and whatnot. Um, I feel like is a really cool. It's really cool, just game design, just. So sort of like in general, um, like just the I the idea of like having to switch between the two play styles to get everything is just really cool in my opinion, and I feel like this this world this uh, hub world does it fairly well, um, and it, it it's kind of like the um, Gaia Gate areas in the Wii where you had to sometimes switch between the two Sonic uh, play styles um, and. Honestly, anything that has stuff like that, I I really like. Um, I don't think the game does it enough in this version, but uh, it is cool when it does happen. I'll just switch so we can get Act Two on the day stage. I don't know. I don't think that Spagonia. Night Act 2 actually exists, like, outside of DLC obviously, like, the, there's a DLC levels, um, got all the medals now, nice. Um, but I'm pretty sure there's only the Act 1 night stage, um, I could be wrong though. And, um, yeah, we just got the Act 2 here, and then we're good. I do think Act 2 is harder than Act 3 though, so I feel like this should have been Act 3. Especially since it's way further in um, compared to Act 3. So I, I don't really get the placement or the naming like for this. Like I, I it's a little bit a little bit bass backwards to me, but it is what it is. But yeah, this is one of those um, uh, multiple acts kind of stages where you go through um, a stage and die. <laughs> Um, there's one of those stages where you go through a uh, pathway, um, and uh, it gets more and more difficult as you progress, as you like loop through. Um, and this is also an instance of where the uh, frame rate just can't keep up, because um, like, like it's just dying right now. And it get, I, I remember it getting. Yeah, this is a really difficult stage, <laughs> and uh, st a lot of the extra stages tend to be like that, um, so you've got to be careful. They do give you a lot of life though, at least, so you can keep on trying and trying. Um, yeah, I, I would love to play this without any any drill, um, in, not in that, what am I talking about? Without any just lag, <laughs> in general, probably should have boost, boost. Did in one of those ones. Um, yeah, well, th this is where I feel like the platforming works fine with the boost for the most part. Like, you have to be a bit more careful with it um, compared to like if you were playing Adventure. But it still works fine enough. Um, and a lot of the hardcore platforming does come from the 2D sections, and I feel like that makes sense. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Jeez. 
You know this? Oh god. Okay, I'm... Okay, cool. I'm definitely not supposed to do this right now. <laughs> but I will try and keep going. Oh, wrong way. Right, shoot me. Okay, we got all the medals now. So that's nice. Now we gotta time our stunts. Or we can just take the hit. Oh god. Yeah, this is. Yeah, this is pretty tricky. Like I said, Unleashed is not an easy game. Uh, dude. Where the hell am I going? Right, let's get that. I don't know where the death plane is, so I. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll stand by the. Damn it, dude. Screw it, just go. I don't care about my rank. I'm not supposed to do this right now, anyway. Um. Yeah, I will stand by that this is one of the hardest Sonic games. Like, it, the it asks, asks a lot more from the player compared to most of the others, I feel. Um, and I would not recommend... Like, the Wii version is a different story. I would not recommend that as possibly a first uh, Sonic game. Um, but the HD one? Hell no. <laughs> this is, like, way too hard for a first, um, for a first game. It's not Dark Souls or anything, but like... Yeesh. <laughs> Let's try that again. Okay, I... I gotta... I gotta, um, make mention of this, because I remember... Um, on my original playthrough, I made a, a comment saying, like, how the, um... The regular stages don't feel as carefully crafted or whatever the crap I said <laughs> compared to the, some of the side stages. And I completely don't agree with that <laughs> nowadays. Because it's more of a case of different there's just they're just designed differently. Like this is meant to be a platforming challenge. Whereas like the regular Act 1 stage we played is meant to be like the regular level where you speed through and whatnot. Um, and th there definitely is a lot of nuance in the. Uh, oh my god. Uh, nuance in just general. Um, I don't know how to word it, but. A there's a lot more thought into the levels in these games, that, in this game, than I give credit for in my original playthrough. Um, because, like, just because there isn't as much platforming as other games... I can't believe I saved that! Good <laughs> um, Just because it... I didn't save that, though. Um, just because there isn't as much platforming, it doesn't mean that there aren't... there isn't thought put into the level design. Because there's a lot more that goes into levels than just how much platforming there is. And I feel like... I was kind of an, kind of an idiot <laughs> for not realising that. Um, but there's a lot more nuance than... Um, just how many, like, how many casts there are, how many times you... Okay, I need to jump higher. Uh, that's my issue. How many, um, times you have to jump on platforms and all that stuff. Um, especially with Sonic levels, like, there's a lot that goes into making a good Sonic level. Um, and again, there's just di These are just different, um, design mentalities for these stages. Like, again, this is a platforming challenge. It's meant, and it's in 2D, so it, that's what it's trying to focus on. Whereas the regular stage is meant to be like the normal stage, so it can't be too difficult without, and it can't be too easy either. Um, and it has a lot of its own set pieces and all that good stuff, and yeah. Can't win them all. <sighs> a probably a two minute stage took me like twice, like over twice as long. Jeez. Yeah, I, I... One of the reasons I actually went to went back to do this game again is because a lot of my opinions have changed over the course... over, over the number of years that I did the first playthrough of this. Um, and 
I feel like if I just had the original playthrough to just be my um, opinions of Unleashed, just being put down there on, on putting being put there on the internet, I feel like that would kind of frustrate me because I again I don't have a lot of those same opinions anymore, and they have evolved over time. So I feel I feel like it was necessary for me to do a new playthrough because this didn't used to be my favorite in the series. It probably would have been like colors or something. I completely just cheesed this. <laughs> I <laughs> That's amazing. Um but Yeah, this didn't used to be my favorite. Um and like I said, my my opinions have changed drastically over the years, so I'm I it made it made sense in a lot of ways to just do this again. And since I can just I can record both versions um, in a really weird way, but hey, it works. Um, it made it so, hey, I can kill two birds with one stone. I can revisit both versions with an actual capture card, um, and I get to uh, restate my thoughts on Unleashed HD because I kind of just felt like I needed to do that eventually. Um, and yeah. Um, <laughs> But that's the my that's my rant over. So yeah, when we come back, we will, we will be going back to tune and day for those day stages because yeah, this part of the game just makes you play a lot a lot of um, uh, day stuff, which is pretty cool. Because we did do like a crap ton of night stuff in the last session, so I guess it's only fair. But yeah, see you guys in a bit. <laughs> 